Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, as I saved um, uh, before, uh, right after um, the last episode, it occurred to me that all the save files are gone. All the save files. All of it. So... Oh, I'm freaked out now. Sayori is definitely gone from existence. And now we have these three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am... Oh, I don't want to do this because I wanted Sayori. Oh, I wanted to find out more about Sayori and everything. Oh no! Oh, okay. Well, let's continue, guys. Oh, nothing I can do here. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Kevgui? Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sat across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I just take a seat next to Monica. I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Let's put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the efforts to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Okay, you, you know how she breaks the fourth wall? Monica? Something is definitely up with Monica. I feel it. Like, I feel something is definitely up with her. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You have a whole tea set, tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. Hee hee hee, don't let yourself get, t get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Okay, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head quietly, Sunny perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Okay. Alright, so... Alright, so in my mind, we have read all of this, right? I want to just kind of skip the ones we've read and just go to, like, parts that are really different, you know? That's what I want to do. Oh... Okay, a good story, a passion about reading, she's so reserved, uh, but, but you know I like a lot of things, so the psychological elements immerse me as well, right now I can never take a, uh, I'm coming through out of loop, I've been reading a lot of horror lately, uh huh, horror book ones, minimal level, the rock, ooh, every time Monica pops up she scares me, she literally scares me. Uh, I expect that from you, Yuri. So you per your personality. Oh, that's so? If it makes you uh, think another world I can put down, serial horror is very stressful. Successful, I change the way you look at the world only for a brief moment. 
I hate horror. What's that? I just... Never mind. You like to read about cute things, don't you? What? Cute that idea. I love a piece of scrap paper. Last meeting. Like you're working on a poem card. I'm fine. Write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer. Down asks you to change that level. It takes more than just confidence. Sure, it's writing yourself. You'd be willing up to posing. Um, okay, do you have any experience too, Yuri? Same with uh, help not to give more to hers. This is the same for Yuri. Rusted silence. Got an idea? How about this? Poem, write poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, ah, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. The prize star finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I decided to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. Oh, here we go, new stuff. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Guys, not that we have a new member. Seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Kevguri? Hold on, there's still one problem. And what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. First I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. Still have other clubs to look at and, um, my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry, I thought, hmm. Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Kavgui. Thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying to do really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision on what it's like when it's like this? But we feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. By one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? You really mean that, Kevgui? Yeah. It could be fun, right? It really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after this, I would be super pissed. You didn't make cupcakes! Kevgui, I'm so happy. I can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today, tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Anya looks over at me once more. Kevgui, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee 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 hee. Hee hee hee. Uh, I'm scared. Yeah. And I really impressed this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri just cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can wait. Can't wait. With that, I depart the club and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Atsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. I'd really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Ah. Uh, I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh boy, oh boy. If you haven't liked a special poem, would you like to- Yes? Not yes? Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Oh. I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. Oh. Uh. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. This is really, really making me stressful right now for some reason. This reading this poem is making me super duper stressful. Like super duper stressful. I don't know why, but really, really is. I don't know why, guys. I really do not know why. Oh my god. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends, asks me about anything, asks me lunch money, comes home before sundown, cooks, gives me privacy, doesn't tell me how to dress, doesn't comment on my friends, doesn't comment on my hobbies, comes home without make waking me up, keeps food in the house, uses his inside voice, leaves my stuff alone, next night he drops coins in the couch, is too tired to notice me, is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. 
Hey! Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh. Oh, okay. Is this there's no Oh. Oh. Holy moly, that that literally was freaking me out. When that poem came up, it freaked the heck out of me. Like literally freaked me out because like literally I I was scared. I was scared of what I was going to find down the reading and or uh something was going to pop out at me. Like during the middle of the reading, just something's gonna gonna go like. I I I I was freaking out. Oh my gosh! I literally was gonna have a heart attack. Seriously. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, I am definitely gonna enjoy this, and um, 90 90 percent not gonna enjoy it because I'm scared. I'm literally scared. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!